Describe it to you this way. Um, there are a lot of religions in the world, a lot of belief systems. Okay, I kind of have them up here on this chart, which I sort of think is interesting. Um, I, world religions, every stick figure represents a little more than a half a billion people. Well, you got you got this religion or belief system, which is truth, uh, called Christianity. Uh, about half of the Roman Catholic variety, half, about half of other denominations, uh, Lutherans, Baptists, Presbyterians, Congregationalists, uh, Pentecostals, uh, Episcopalians. Okay. And that, that's about two and a half billion of the seven and a half billion people of the world. Then you've got uh, Muslims. That's a whole different belief system, of course, a whole different religion. 1.7 billion people, approximately. Then you got Hindus, over a billion of those, uh, largely in, in India. Uh, then you have a bunch of people with, who really have no belief system. And in a way, that's the most common one in the United States of America. Um, they've described American religion as moralistic, therapeutic deism. <laughs> but let me explain that to you. Deism means that most Americans think there's a god... Moralistic tells us that they, they think he's got some advice for their life, okay? But he's not too judgmental, and he's therapeutic. So he's like there to be their counselor when they need somebody to lean on. But when they don't need him so much, then, you know, he's not that important. That's, and that's, that's really not much of a god. That's, all, that's almost either none or other. Other example of none would be the communist nations like China, officially it's atheism, right? That there is no God. Then there's uh, Buddhism, uh, found also in the, in the uh, East, about a half a billion people. And, uh, and then you have other, including animistic, superstitious religions of, of Africa. So which one's right? You know, that's a good question, isn't it? I believe that... that God's word is going to convince you over the course of the next few minutes if you're not already convinced. Um, and I believe God's word is going to convince you that Christianity's got the answers. Here's why. You could, you could look at the world as having two major problems. Now, some people would identify climate change and other people would identify world poverty and other people would identify world hunger. But I will suggest to you the world, every individual in the world has two chief problems. One problem on the inside of them, 
in their soul. And one problem kind of on the outside of them with their body. 